As I write my coming out letter to my mother, I look out from the window of my dorm room and see Mount Hesperus. I ask the mountain for strength to send the story. I send the letter. Three months go by without a word from my mother. An elder tells me, give your mother the same amount of time you gave yourself to accept who you are. My mother and I end up having to drive to Page to run errands when I come home on break from college. This is a familiar drive for the both of us. Usually she is full of stories along this stretch of road. This drive is silent. I escape into my head to get away from the void between us. My thoughts fill with stories of mountains moving and talking to each other, skinwalkers running alongside the road, or the dangerous curve that took someone's life. My mother clears her throat, and I look over. Suddenly, her voice breaks the silence. She tells me about when she first got the letter. I was disgusted and didn't want to tell anyone. What would people say? I couldn't hold it by myself anymore, so I told your stepdad. And he said to me, We always had people like her in our community. We have to love and respect her. I remember my mother crying, and I felt tears well in my eyes. Finally, she says, that's when I realize I have to love you twice as much to make up for all the pain you put up with out there. She gestures over her head. She is right. The mountains protect us, and to go outside of them puts us in harm's way. My mother and I learned this story together. Nats An watches us as we follow the black ribbon of highway into Page. Together, my mother and I are reminded of the stories the elders and mountains gave us enough time to listen to and accept. Hey, hey, hey.